I remember this one quote that says, there's no shortcuts to success, but it didn't say anything about DaVinci Resolve. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you my top 10 DaVinci Resolve shortcuts to speed up your workflow so you can spend less time on all the tedious stuff and more time creating. And if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly videos all about teaching you to become a better video editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. So I've been working on these keyboard shortcuts since I transitioned from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve almost two years ago. Now, the way that I edit is my left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on the mouse. Now, I really don't wanna have to like move my left hand around a ton, nor do I wanna have to take my right hand off the mouse. I wanna just kind of keep it there and have all of the tools that I need just there at my disposal, because otherwise it's gonna just slow me down. Now, the first shortcut that I use every single day that I edit is to make a cut on all layers. And to do that, I hit S on my keyboard. If I wanna only cut one clip, I can select a clip and hit S, and it's only gonna edit that clip. Or if I have nothing selected and I hit S, it's gonna make a cut on every single clip below the playhead. So you can start cutting multiple clips at once using that. So another shortcut that I use every single day along with the razor tool is called Ripple. Now what Ripple is, is it deletes everything from either the right or the left of the playhead to the next edit point, just depending on which Ripple button you hit. So I have Ripple left of the playhead set to Q, so it's gonna delete everything from the left of the playhead to the nearest edit point, or if you hit W on the keyboard, which is right next to it, you can ripple to the right of the playhead. Just be mindful of what you're removing. So number three is playback speed. And this is so vital for when I'm just cutting up a video and going through the editing process. Speaking of that, would you want to know how to actually edit a video like this? Let me know in the comments below and uh, see what I can do. Anyway, so when I'm going through a video and I'm hitting S to cut everything up and I'm using my ripple left and my ripple right, which you just learned, I need to kind of control the playback speed. And one way is just to hit the space bar and do all of that. Now that's fine and all, but it's playing at one times speed and I want to speed that thing up. So I moved fast forward to C. I added a second stop control, which is pretty much the same thing as a space bar to the key X, which is right next to C. And then for reverse, I have it at Z. Also, if you're getting value from this video, a like and possibly even a subscribe would be super helpful and definitely appreciated. So thanks. Now moving on to the fourth shortcut, that is to add a default transition. And for this one, I've set it up to shift D. Now, if you use a certain transition like fade or crossfade or smooth cut or whatever, you can assign it as the default transition by right clicking on it in the effects library and then hitting shift D on the edit point every time that you want to apply it. So number five is one that I really wish they had inside of Premiere Pro, and this is to delete all gaps. I've set this up to the escape key because I want it within reach but I really don't wanna accidentally hit it. So let me reach just a little bit for it. Now this is gonna delete every single gap that you have inside of your timeline. So you can just hit escape and it's gonna delete every gap and smush them all together. So number six, we have clip selection. And this is another one that I use so much. Like it is one of the most useful ones I think out there. And I'm not just talking about the control A, you know, to select all. I'm talking about like better than that. Here's what I'm talking about. If I wanna select anything to the left of the playhead, I can just hit shift A and it's gonna select every single clip on all tracks to the left of the playhead. Now, if I wanna select everything to the right of the playhead, what I can do is hit A, and that's gonna select everything on all tracks to the right of the playhead. Now, this allows you to be a bit more precise with what you're selecting. And let's say you wanna select everything to the right besides one audio layer. Like, let's say you have music and you don't wanna move the music around. What you can do is hit this little bypass button. Hey, Freddy, yeah. what's that bypass button called? Like on, on every audio track, on the track selected. that's it. What you can do is hit this little button right here that says auto track selector. You could just turn that off and it's gonna bypass the whole layer so you can still select everything to the right besides one track. 
is the freaking shortcuts getting good. So moving on to number seven, we have open in timeline. So if you use a lot of compound clips or fusion clips and you have to constantly right click on them, hit open in timeline, you can just bypass that and click on the clip. So you can hit T on your keyboard and it's going to open that in the timeline and save you just a few button clicks. But if you're having to do a lot of edits within compound clips, it can actually save you a decent amount of time. Speaking of saving time, now number eight makes assigning clip colors super easy. You know how you have to right click on a clip, go to add clip color and then select whatever color you want. And then if you accidentally just go off that little menu, everything closes. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with that. So I made it a lot easier. So all you have to do is hit control on your keyboard and hit whatever number you want. You could hit one, two, three, four, whatever, right? It's going to just cycle through all of the clip colors. And because there's more clip colors than there was numbers up there, right? You can just hold down alt and control and then go through the numbers again. This is going to make it a lot easier so you can assign clip colors to the clips and not have to go through that super annoying process every single time. You can just do it all with one shortcut. And a little pro tip right here is to associate your clip colors with a certain type of video, right? So for me personally, the intro part of a video, that's always orange. The outro or the exit, that's always brown. Then everything in between that, it could be, you know, if it's a numbered list like this, I might assign one color to it. If it's B-roll, I usually keep that as pink. So you just keep going and you associate certain types of colors with the footage that you're using. So number nine is markers. Now I am straight taking one from Premiere Pro's Keybinds and putting it at M. So if you hit M on your keyboard once, it's going to add a marker or you can hit M on your keyboard twice and it's going to not only place the marker, but open it up so you can type in any information that you need there. Now, finally, number 10 is speed controls. So if you're doing a lot of speed ramping, this is going to be so valuable. So to open up the retime controls, I'm going to hit control R and this is going to pull that up to close it down. You just hit control R again. Now retime curves, that is control E on the keyboard. And this is just going to help you to speed up your workflow a bit and not get lost in the DaVinci Resolve menus. And another one you can do is for the clip speed. And I haven't done much with this, but I still mapped it to R. And if I hit R, it just opens up and I can reverse a clip or slow things down there. You just don't visually see it until you hit OK. So just a little extra one here. Another one I really like is Control Q. So if you press Control Q on the no, no. Yeah, actually, don't press Control Q unless you want to shut down the program. If you do, though, Control Q is your uh, that's your guy. Now, if you want to be an overachiever, you could take these shortcut keys and put them on something like the Razer Tortoise, and then you're going to have all of your keybinds on one hand and you can move around your timeline so much faster. And that's actually what I have done and I've been using for I don't know, like two years now. I've got all those keypads that, you know, the fancy ones that people have sent out and I just can't get out of it. So I can tell you guys how to use that in the future if you're interested. Now, instead of having to go and assign all of these shortcut keys, you can actually just download all of mine completely for free. Just click the link in the description. There is no strings attached. It's all yours. Take them. Now, speaking of free, if you purchase the Ultimate Motion Graphics Transition Pack from our store, you're also going to get the Retro Flare Pack 1 for free. So click the link in the description to also check that out. Anyway, if you like videos like this, click on the top for all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.